At Thebes, King Creon was now ruler. He had come to the throne after the banishment of the famous King Oedipus, who saved Thebes from the terrible Sphinx. The Sphinx was a monster with a lion's body, eagle's rings, and a woman's head. She sat on a great rock near the city and asked everyone who passed to answer a riddle. And what she asked was this. What creature, with only one voice, has four legs in the morning, two at midday, and three in the evening, and yet is the weakest when it has most? All who failed to answer the riddle, she ate immediately, and no one found the correct answer until young Oedipus came to Thebes. He replied, The creature is a man, for as a child in the morning of his days, he goes on all fours and yet is weakest. In the middle of his life, he walks upon his two legs, and is strongest, but in old age he needs the aid of a stick, and so three legs support him. At this, the Sphinx screamed with fury, and cast herself down from the rock and was killed. Then Oedipus ruled round and wisely at Thebes, until a curse fell upon the land, because of crimes which he had committed unintentionally, and he wandered away as a blind beggar, leaving his uncle Creon as king. When Amphitryon came to Thebes, he found that another curse had descended on that unlucky city. For the Tumesian fox, which was as large and savage as a wolf, had been sent by Dionysus to plague the land, catching children and carrying them away to its lair as punishment for the things he had suffered in Thebes. Now this was an enchanted fox, which nobody could catch, for it ran faster than the fastest creature in the world. If you can rid us of this fox, said Creon, I will lend you an army to take vengeance on the robbers.